Hello, and welcome to the Virtual Robotics Toolkit. My name is Chris from Cognation, and in this video, we're going to be looking at three things. One, how to start a simulation. Two, how to drive our robot in a simulated project file. And three, how to stop the simulation. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm here in the welcome screen, and we can see that there's a number of projects that I can choose from. Um, the one I'm interested in using, though, is this sandbox project, because it really is kind of like an open world uh, that we can experiment with. So I'll give that a click. I'll accept the default name for the sandbox project. Um, the EV3 in brackets just tells us that this project is going to be doing a simulation of the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 robot. I'll click OK. And this dialog is a little tricky and I'll just sort of explain what's happening here. Basically we have the choice of either resuming from where we left off. So if I was using the sandbox project uh, previously I can come back to uh, where I last left off. I can also click no here to create a, a completely new instance of the project and that's what I'm going to be doing here. So I will click no. And here we find my trusty old uh, virtual version of the Lego Mindstorms robot. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to come up here to the top screen and you can see that I have a play button that says start simulation. So I'll press that play button. You can see that when I do that, I get a green band um, that comes across the top of the screen. And that's really our first clue that the simulation is running. The second clue that the simulation is running is that I have a set of keyboard keys on screen that say W, A, S, and D. And if I just change my view a little bit, whoops, we can see that it's here in the bottom corner. Uh, if any of you have done any kind of PC gaming before, you'll recognize WASD as a very familiar um, computer gaming convention for controlling your character. We're going to use those same keys to uh, drive our robot around in the simulated project file. So I am going to press the W key to drive the robot forwards. I'm going to use the S key to drive the robot backwards. I'm going to use the A key to make it turn left and the D key to make it turn right. And you can see that as I drive my robot around the simulated project file, that those keys light up. Now there's some interesting things we can do. If at any time we wish to pause the simulation, I just come up here and press the pause button. And what that does is it uh, temporarily suspends the simulation. So you can see that there's no longer a green band up here. If I press the W, A, S, and D keys, you can see that I'm pressing them, but nothing's happening. My robot's not moving at all. I can press play to resume the simulation. So again, I'm going to maybe drive to this black square, pause the simulation, and then maybe you know a couple minutes later, I want to start it again and come back to this red square. Now, what if I want to restore the simulated robot back to its original position? So you'll recall when we opened the project, the robot was stationed over here. Well, that's easy enough to to solve. Um, I'm going to press the stop button and you can see that when I do that the robot returns back to its original starting position. So there you have it. Those are the basics of performing a very simple simulation using the Virtual Robotics Toolkit by Cognation. In a future video uh, we'll be taking a look at ways that we can control the robot in an autonomous fashion um, using the LEGO Mindstorms programming environment and the Virtual Brick itself.